Hello, what is going on, man? How's everybody doing? What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here since I'm be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. Now, let me tell you a little bit of story how this went down. Basically, TVP and myself, oh man, we have a history. We do. I don't really want to draw too much of that into this review because we're not here for that. As much as I would love to be biased and tell you not to buy this because it's a piece of shit i can't do that i have to keep it real once i heard about this i contacted blitz enterprise i said listen i want to get my hands on one who in the state side or who overseas will ship this to the state side that i can buy it from they were like there's no one we haven't released anything to the united states yet because we wanted to wait very rarely will manufacturers or companies ship solely to uk and not ship anywhere else in the world that's a little awkward now i'm assuming the reason why they did that is because that's where all his fan base is and it just makes sense logistically speaking of course so i had a buddy of mine get it and then he sent it to me just because i had this feeling that the company i was selling these would not have sent it to me if they would have seen my name on the label the way that i had acquired it was just the workaround there was no other way now i know that tvp had told people in his live show that he was going to send me one of these devices and he sure as hell might have but the problem I have is I didn't want to wait till batch two or batch three. At that point, I could just buy it. And this is where buying something really, really comes into play. Because I can buy it, I have the same access as any other consumer. I don't know if there's ever been a time where I've bought something that hasn't come out in this country yet in order for me to do a review on it. This would probably be the first of its kind. I guess Postman had got a hold of Blitz Enterprise and said, listen, I got this design. I want to make an RTA out of it. One of the main questions I have before we jump into it and I show you the deck and I show you how the airflow works is I know that Postman at one point in time, his favorite RTA was a Rumomizer. Now that is a dual coil jammy. That doesn't mean that he doesn't like single coils or he hasn't grown to love single coils. I just question as to why someone would make a single coil 30 millimeter RTA. That's a bit of a far stretch. The biggest problem I have with using a 30 millimeter RTA for a single coil is you have a lot of airflow going on in there and it's only a single. Singles typically don't need that much airflow unless of course it's a really really thick exotic coil and I don't think that this was designed for that. There are some unique things with this and I'm not 100% sure if he did in fact design those or it was Blitz Enterprises. At this current point in time I'm just going to take his word for it because that's what he's saying he did is created this from the ground up there's some questionable things on this the airflow on this rta isn't something that we haven't seen before it's a regular generic recurve kylan mini style airflow but again it's a single coil rta i don't understand the method behind the madness but i guess it is what it is wiki wiki i'm not 100 percent sure when you buy this if it does in fact come with these two extra glasses i would assume not just because these should be inside the package that the rta was in this might have been an afterthought or just something else that they did but here's the kicker so i don't know if you guys remember when i did the new york rda i did multiple builds because a lot of people were saying that it didn't have a lot of flavor now if you didn't see that review i'll post the link right there what i did on the new york rda is i did multiple builds because i wanted to make sure one, that it's a reviewer's product, and if I'm not going to get that good of flavor with the first build, I will do multiple builds. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. It is a single coil 30 millimeter RTA, but what I'm going to do is put multiple builds in it because I want to make sure that whatever builds I put in this, I could give you a recommendation and really, really be accurate with the amount of flavor that I'm getting from this being in its default state or an added state. Let me show you everything inside of the box. I hope you're ready for this one because it's about to go to fuck down. Let's flip it. Blitz Enterprises FP RTA designed by TVP. One of the things I remember him talking about was what this stands for. <sighs> I don't know why we're at a point where we're using absolutely ridiculous names and abbreviations, but this stands for Fuck Pig, which is such a stupid name for an RTA. That has to be one of the dumbest names. There's a lot of things that you could call this. To name it this, oh God. 
Is it trying to make a point to go above and beyond and make it that obnoxious? This product contains nicotine, which is a highly addictive substance. Just a heads up to Blitz Enterprises, you guys don't need to put this on here unless of course there's e-liquid on the inside of it that does in fact contain nicotine. On the bottom of the box, you have Blitz Enterprises. On the side, you have their social media. Notice how there is no listing for anything TVP here. There's no Instagram, Facebook, nothing. The only mention of TVP, in fact, is right here on the front side. And this is the release rendition. Now, when I got this, this was not 100% sealed. There was no cellophane around it. So I don't know if this was opened up. Some of the things have been taken out, but I think all the things that have been taken out are things that I have already that came with it. They were just not inside the box. And then on the top side, you have black or stainless steel. Those are your only two options. I'm not sure if they are gonna be making this in other color configurations, but as it stands right now, these are the only two. And also the way it stands right now, as of the date of this video, the only way that you could get these is if in fact you're in the UK or you wanna pay the astronomical amount to get it shipped to you from the UK to the States. On the back side of the box, if they didn't make this any more readable, I don't know what else to tell you. There is nothing about this RTA anywhere on this box. No bullet points, no selling points, absolutely nothing. And I don't feel that that is on TVP himself. However, if he approved this box the way that this is, is a little bit shameful. There should be some some type of something like oh this is 48 mils and it's called the fuck pig like there should be something else on this box there's not even a manual inside of here a manual you guys have to understand when we're talking about rtas or anything that comes from a reviewer i hold that to a certain standard this is no exception and this is very very much unbiased across the board let me get a box to give you an example what i want to show you real quick is how other boxes Boxes look that came out of China. Usually you don't ever see nothing listed on the box. Like the, you want to talk about saving money. There's no quick reader. There's no warnings. There's absolutely nothing on the back of this. Well, you have this warning, but that's not what I'm referring to. Take a look at this one. This is the Dread BFRDA by Damn Vape. Have no idea what it is. Almost looks like a cigarette pack. So we're not here for that. But if you look at the back, there's your bullets. Got a quick reader code here. Scratch and sniff see this right here the package contents that's nowhere on his box let's just say okay jay that's just one example no no that's not just one example this is the blaze rda by arctic dolphin again a little bit of information here here's all the warnings one more time this is the mk rta now these devices i'm all showing you are nobodies that's the idea behind it is no name companies making products putting some kind of information on the backside. There is literally nothing. If Postman didn't have anything to do with this and they just released it anyway, then shame on Blitz. If Blitz showed this to Postman and he released it this way, then shame on Postman. No matter how you look at it, it's just no dice. Certain standard because it's a reviewer. The RTA, go over that shortly. On the bottom of the box, check this out. There's nothing in here. You have a frosted 810 drip tip and then a peripheral pouch right here, which keep in mind is very, very scarce for anything that's inside of it. There's nothing on the bottom of the box. It's totally empty. Let me pull it out just to show you. There's no manual. There's no nothing. Now, I don't know if there necessarily should be a manual with an RTA. I get it, save paper, you know, save someone else's Christmas tree. I'm all for that. Inside your profile pouch, you're gonna get some extra O-rings, no screws, no cotton. Why even bother having a screwdriver and different coils? When I show you this deck, you're gonna see that it looks like it's designed for a single coil. And Postman's review, he actually does a single coil on this. However, they're not giving you one big juicy coil. They're giving you two very small ones, some extra O-rings, a flat head screwdriver to take out the post, but they're not gonna give you any extra posts anywhere. There's not a lot to say, that's it. You saw on the bottom that there was empty packages. What I got when I got this was this guy and this guy right here. Inside here is an extra glass. 
this is where things get a little peculiar. Now, when you look online, it only shows that it comes with one spare glass, but in the bottom of the box, there's two slots. So I'm assuming that's for these two. What's odd about this is these tanks are taller than that of the one that comes on the FPRTA. And I was like, that, this isn't right. Something's wrong right now as to why I have different size glass. I'll show you when I take off the glass and we'll go a little bit further in detail with this. But there's a really cool feature with this RTA that makes these glass actually work. And I don't think I've ever seen it done before. Let's go over the RTA. First off, on the top, you have a dock style drip tip, 810. Nothing too special here, nothing crazy. On the top, machining isn't terrible. Keep in mind, guys, whenever you do buy an RTA, an RDA, always make sure you clean it and run it through the cleaner or clean it with some dish soap and whatever. Don't just run it underwater because there's a lot of funky monkeys on the inside of this that I would really want to make sure that I don't have any seahorses or sea monkeys inside of the tank. The first thing I notice when I look at this is this barrel. I don't get what is going on here. Something that they're pushing is that this is really good for juice flow control. That has got to be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. And then they say that it helps with bubbles. We've all built RTAs before and we've all seen it wicking and bubbling on the side. How exactly would this help with bubbles? I think that has got to be one of the ugliest chimneys I've ever seen. It just absolutely tacky at best. It having this cross stitching or carbon fiber weave through it, they give enough of room to put that whole logo. But check this out. Look at the top of the tank. It says F, 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 F. Okay. It goes all the way around. And then on the bottom, it says P, 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 dual P, P's, dual, triple P, P's. I don't know if that was an afterthought or if that was just like, let's really make this dramatic. So the way that you see this right now is the way that I got it. It is a little funky. We've known at this point that I kind of sway away from deducting points from that just because, you know, you should be cleaning your stuff. At the same time, Blitz should be making sure that this comes out clean. This tank is very solid. It's very heavy. Feel the reason why that is is because it's a 30 millimeter RTA. It comes apart in multiple fashions. Let's take the top part out. So you're just gonna grab it up here. Now, when you get this, it's not gonna be as easy as doing it as it is right now for me. You see, there's your dirties. It looks like someone blew their fucking nose and rubbed it on their shirt. That's absolutely disgusting. You have an O-ring built on the inside. You have internal threading, which is going to thread onto the top cap here. Again, you got the funky monkeys. You see how dirty this is. So let's take this apart real quick. The glass on the top here is extremely difficult to cut. You motherfucker. Difficult to cop. What I really wanted to do was to take this off and show you, but you could see how tight that was on. That's not good, man. That's not good stuff. Mm, I really wanted to show you how tight that was. Look at this. While this is still on, I just want to show you that this is in fact much, much taller than that is. It's about the same height, including the metal on the top. But again, there's something cool with this. This right here, guys, I'm not intentionally doing this. This isn't the first time that this happened, but the shitty part is, is that I'm aware that there is a problem with the short glass, which I'm assuming is this one. I do know that there is a problem where the short glass, which is something I really wanted to highlight and how it actually shorts out because of how much you bring this down. And I think this is the reason why they launched this glass and it wasn't included is because, well, they realized that they screwed the pooch on this one. Let's include the taller one. And the reason is because of how much this threads down, which is why you're able to use this one or this one. Again, I will not be able to show you that because, well, it cracked. And all I did was just try to pull it out. The knurling that is on the chimney, I feel should be on the top or the bottom of the RTA. Granted, it doesn't look good at all. This is probably the most distracting thing of this whole RTA. It doesn't look bad on the outside. However, you can't use a gimmick that the reason why this knurling is here is to help bubbles form because people this whole time of using RTAs have had plenty of bubbles without knurling on the chimney. It's not horrible machining. This is the worst part of the whole RTA right here. First off, you'll 
you'll see you have a very, very large platform on the bottom, which kind of is in a half C shape. So it's basically going around and it looks like one coil. When I first looked at this, I thought each block here was going to be a negative and then the other one's gonna be a positive. However, if you look close enough, you'll see the insulators actually splitting the post. So you have a positive here and then a negative here, positive, negative. The way that this deck is designed with this half C, it looks like it's designed for a very, very chubby single coil. Airflow on the bottom is very unique. Your airflow on the bottom, you could dial into an extreme measure. You have this very elongated skinny section and as you go further, you can make it bigger, bigger, and then obviously absolutely enormous amount of airflow. Those peas are so obnoxious. And then you can see the insulator on the inside there, very, very large. And they're labeling this as a GTA or Genesis tank atomizer. What that usually means is sort of like how you see this, it's usually raised up a little bit higher, but that usually gives you a lot of room because it's from the bottom of the deck till the top of where the airflow control is. There's no extra parts of this. So everything I do, I'm really, really nervous about breaking a piece of ceramic or breaking another glass. They don't give you any kind of extras whatsoever. So I'm going to tell you, if you get this the same way that I got it, be very careful on how you build this. The last thing you wanna do is break a ceramic plate and now you can't do shit. Well, I guess if you broke one, you could just use the other side, but then it's incomplete. Gouge of the screw is very, very jagged. Let me show you. Flathead, love these. I don't know if you'd be able to hear what I got going on here, but the threading is very, you see how it gets stuck? Right there, right there. Are we fucking serious right now? <sighs> Dude, what the fuck, man? Wow. Wait, are we fucking serious right now? That's the design? That can't be right. Dude, what the fuck is going on with this? Oh my God. I feel like I'm gonna break this fucking post. Look at this post right here. It's not, it doesn't, it's, I don't understand what is going on with this post. Jesus Christ. Look at how stiff that is. I don't, I don't understand what the fuck is going on with this. That is just absolutely horrendously made. Oh my God. When I take that screw out twice and it's already ripping up. You hear, I mean, you can, you, guys, I'm not, I'm not being fucking dramatic right here. Wow, dude. Ah! See, so like right there, it's loose. Okay, good to go. But once you start screwing that down, I don't know why that is. It's like a half screw and it doesn't move. Let me show you. So that's it right there, right? It doesn't come down. Let's put this in. There's no screw in, right? Okay, so easy. Nice and, yeah, that's, that's nice, right? Like that's good. But once you put the screw in, you know what I think it is? is if you look at the screw, you'll see that it's threaded, and then right where it's not threaded anymore might be the part where we're having the problem. Because it does, in fact, go all the way up to the edge. I know we're spending a lot of time on the screw, but I apologize, guys. There is nothing I could do about this. You know what I think it is? The screw's actually threaded in incorrectly. That's it. It's the, it's the screw. The screw is right here. Look. Heard it snap? the screw. Let's take a look at the other one. No problem at all with this one. The threading of these screws though is fucking horrendous. Yeah, that one I don't have any problem with. It's just this one over here. See, so put this one down. They're both down. Flip it. There you go. So it's just this one. <laughs> We're gonna be doing two different builds. The first one I got is a Fuse Clapton Dual 24 with 34 on the outside, and then I got this little jammy that I made, which is basically a staggered parallel fused Clapton. So the reason why I did it like this is because I wanted something that was really juicy, really low resistance, but a fat 
coil, and that's a 4.5 intermillimeter diameter. I know it's not perfect, but it's close enough that all I'm gonna need. They should have put some kind of lip on there so the ceramic plate goes into the lip to hold the wire down. tank dude I swear to God I know you could use the argument say you're supposed to put smaller coils in it but it's a 30 millimeter RTA so that, that argument is null and void. It doesn't make any sense. I, I got it to work and they look good. I just have to heat them up, put cotton in it. But I'm dreading the fact when I put the single coil in it. Once again, that is the FP RTA. Let's bring it on the top. So here we are back on the top with the FP RTA by Blitz Enterprises and the Vaping Postman sitting on top of the Yugo Vapor Triple Snake Skin Jammy Old School. Bringing it back. I don't know how well you're gonna see it, but we got a 0.33 at 68.5 watts. Here we go. Not bad flavor. The airflow though, you would think would be much more fast than what that is. Now granted, I do have two massive obstructions over that airflow. If you're gonna be running a dual coil scenario like I have right now, first off, good luck. That's all I'm gonna say, is because the Chief King, you guys remember that? I don't know if anybody have seen that review, I'll post a link right there. That RDA, oh my God. It's like a massive version of the micro RDA, which I never did a review on, not the BF, the regular micro. You have to put small coils in here. That's just the way that that is because you don't have anything on the edges, which is definitely something that should have been implemented when you're putting something super slippery like ceramic clamps down. Once you go to screw it down, it's gonna either pull it out or it, you, you gotta hold it in place. There's a lot you have to do to get two different coils in there. Now, granted, I did get it done and it does look good and it is wicking good. We don't have any problem with any leaking anywhere, but as big as that airflow is on the side, I'm not able to get that kind of airflow through the center, if that makes sense. Literally, those two coils are blocking everything. So a lot of that does have to do with me, but at least if you're gonna label this as a dual coil RTA, it should vape like a dual coil RTA. I think what's happening here is airflow is having a very hard time reaching my mouth because it had, you saw the coils. Basically, the coil and the cotton is taking up all the room 
this is one of the problems you run into with an airflow on the bottom like that. I'm not getting any extra airflow from anywhere else. All I'm relying is just on the bottom. And that's a tight fit. Those are 3.4 inner diameter coils, right? Fuse clapped and nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna hate this part right now. Now I'm gonna pull the camera back out. We're gonna bring it back on top and now I'm gonna put a different build in it. It's probably gonna be about a little bit less resistance than what we have right now, but I should be getting more airflow coming from the sides of the coil because right now the way that it is is those coil and that cotton is literally taking up all of the airflow so airflow is not having uh, an easy time trying to get between those dual coil is definitely a no-go with this the airflow is open all the way on the sides and I don't really want to pump the wattage up because I'm not getting enough of airflow to cool down those coils as it is I'm not getting any spit back it is wicking good there's no doubt about that but the vape just sucks like it it's just it's It almost vapes like it's a 24 millimeter. I get more airflow from the OBS Nano engine. Very throaty head. Hmm. So much for that helping the bubbles. How does that help the bubbles? Look at them. Where the bubbles can't even get past. <sighs> Helps bubbles. What the f what? <laughs> Guys, that's not the cotton, that's the bubbles. They're not moving. Blitz, you shouldn't be making claims like that because I'm going to be the person to test it to figure out whether or not it is helping the bubble formation. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. The bubble formation? Are you related indirectly to the bubble army? Is that a thing? One more time, let's bring it down. Let me put a build in it, show you that build, show you the wicking because right now where we're at, I'm not enjoying this RTA whatsoever. So dual coil is an absolute no. Let's flip it again round two these are the coils that i was just using go ahead and swap these out for the other one now With every ounce of my soul, I hate these posts. It's starting to fucking shake. That's how mad I'm getting. Fun stuff. Can I tell you what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna give this any more fucking time. I'm just gonna put it a big fucking single coil in it. Now we're gonna do a backup plan because I am literally getting fucking furious the way that this is designed. I I hate these ceramic dude. I fucking hate them with a passion, with a fucking passion. Oh my god! Uh, this is almost too much for me. I don't even know if I could fucking push through. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't fucking do it. I can't fucking do, dude. Fucking clamps are garbage. It doesn't help that the screws are fucking garbage as well. I'm having a very, I'm getting pissed off. I, I wanna fucking shatter this thing with every ounce of my soul, right? Like I'm just, I'm so fucking irritated with this whole design right now. And I'm trying, believe me, I'm trying so fucking hard with this. Well, like what was going through your mind when you were like, okay, yeah, let's do this. What exactly was your fucking thought process? God! Uh.
bring it on the top. <sighs> All right. Oh my God. So here we are back on the top with the same exact RTA with a different build in it. This is a single coil, that seven millimeter inner diameter. Listen to me. There was at a point where I was shaking so much because I was so fucking mad. Everything inside of me said, go outside and break this. Every single thing. Then I was like, you know what? A lot of people will like that I break it. But then again, I'm doing what everybody thinks I'm gonna do. So I'm saying to myself, do I want to go outside and go break it? Probably not. Let me finish up the build just to see and give a really thorough review and man the fuck up and take it like a champ. Let me tell you something. All you had to do was add little fucking ledges. Everything would have been done. It's not the case. 0.96 is 68.5 lines. There we go. So you can see now that it's given a lot of vapor production, a lot of flavor. It's a little peculiar for an RTA to only be able to function really well at a single coil. So for Blitz, I don't suggest you promote that this is a dual coil, specifically before you launch it, like right now, because this is not a dual coil. I also suggest Blitz to stop doing whatever they're doing and to add ledges. But then again, does Postman really want to listen to me on how to make something better? This is the same guy that I had those issues with, right? I've even contacted him to get him back on inside the mines to no avail. I don't want to hear that I'm not a humble person or I don't try to rectify situations. I was going to put him on, kill it, and just it be done, it be over. No dice. But I don't let that affect this. Because if I did, I would have broke this outside. I would have done what I felt comfortable with doing considering the fact I've never pushed myself so hard to do a review. Like I swear to God on every single thing that I love, that I know, it took everything out of me to do this build. Everything. I was trying to put the staggered parallel build in and usually when you don't have post, it's very difficult to do a parallel build because there's nothing for it to grip onto. I'm not in that luxury group of having coils that are already made that are super juicy ready to go inside of this. I, I just don't. So I had to create those and that's all lost time that I'll never get back. So I'm still shaking. Not as bad as what I was, but that's how angry I was. But let me step out of that for a moment. It's much better with a single. Let me tell you all the flaws this thing has. First off, building on this with a dual is rough, man. It will take everything out of you to get those coils in. And then even then, when you're fully done, you have the dual coils in there. I promise you that it's not going to give what you expect for flavor out of dual coil. It's probably one of the least flavorful RTAs that I've ever vaped on with a dual coil, without a doubt. Like I'm getting absolutely nothing. Then the clamps and the screws, the whole post mechanism is fucking garbage. It's absolutely horrible. You can get it to work like I did. Let's just say that Postman's prototype that he has is perfect. You may wanna get one that was sold after your prototype because that is in no way, shape, or form anywhere near perfect. Now I get it, it's your first design, assuming that you design this. I'm going to assume that. What is up with the F and P's all over the place? What, what is that? The biggest problem is those ceramic blocks. Without a doubt, all you had to do was little itty bitty edges. Why would you not think of that considering all the RTAs that you've done reviews on or have seen or just in general? Why is that not a thought? And I don't even know why Blitz saw this and was like, oh, this is a good idea. Granted, you are the first person I could think of that has that airflow, that has this size of an RTA, that's a 30 millimeter with whatever the fuck capacity that is. I'm just very, very, very. The end result does not outweigh all the negative things that I've dealt with building this RTA. Without a doubt, it is hands down the worst 30 millimeter RTA I've ever used. And I haven't used a lot. Well, I mean, I've used all the mainstream ones. I would even tell you that the Triple V2 is better than this is. 
This is not an RT I wouldn't recommend to anybody. I maybe would recommend it to somebody that I don't like to see them go through all the stress and, and pain and turmoil trying to make this. You think I'm playing. Wait, wait till you get it in the mail. You'll see. People come into the store and they're like, oh, I want to see a mod that you've done a review on that you didn't break that you rated really low. The Rakasa is a great example. Someone held that in their hands the other day. The first thing they said is like, holy shit, that's sharp. Guys, I'm not being dramatic. This is hands down. I don't know why anybody would buy this aside from just someone being his fan. There's so much poor execution. The posts are everything, right? Like the airflow is whatever it is. It shouldn't be marketed as a bubble for me. RTA like that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard and when you fill it up with that glass that's on there yeah good luck what about the broken glass that happened to me granted I've seen comments on forums where he was like don't use that small one because it'll short out I guess it's a good thing that I didn't notice that because I would have ripped this apart even fucking further the only thing good about this RTA is the airflow on the bottom like the adjustment ring this is without a doubt one of the worst RTAs that I've ever done a review on. I'm so pissed off at what this has become. Do I be the bigger man? That is a tough call. The capacity of this tank with that stock glass is four mils and then with the bubble it's a six mil but it's a 30 millimeter tank so the capacity is way off the packaging was fucking garbage it missing things out of the package garbage them trying to justify the ridiculous knurling that's on the chimney both of the parties are at fault both tvp and blitz tvp for saying okay that's good to go even if he didn't create it just him slapping his name on it i'm hoping that he did design it but i'm gonna tell you right now postman if you're gonna design shit and this is gonna be the end result oh my god do something else with your fucking time like do anything else Deliver hot dogs like that, I feel would be a more successful job than you designing RTAs. Because if this is everything that you're gonna come out with and this is your first creation, trying to put your footprint in the ground, you're in trouble. I'm just gonna tell you right now. <laughs> <You're saying laughs> you ever stepped in quicksand? Cause that's exactly what you're doing. Everybody knows me. Like you know me if you're watching me. I wanna fucking destroy this tank so much guys you think i'm fucking playing buy it just buy it you'll see exactly everything i'm saying it's not a joke who wants to buy a 30 millimeter rta where you have to put a really big coil in it for it to be successful and function properly if you try to put the small duels in it's gonna have to be really small and at that point what's the point of using a 30 millimeter rta that has a build deck or something like the chief king where you have to put one side in and put the other side in it's not easy it's not simple before you use the argument that i'm mad at tvp you're wrong i'm not I'm not, but when something shit, it's shit. If I could be unbiased, I could be unbiased. I wanna break this. That's what everybody wants me to do. That's not what I'm gonna do because people want me to do it. You could use the argument that I don't know how to do builds. Did you see those builds I put in there? Of course I know what I'm doing. Of course it's still wicking. It doesn't matter. All that is irrelevant. I know what I'm doing. This just fails in so many sections of the RTA realm. Guys, save yourself the money. If you don't believe what I'm saying, buy it. But I'm gonna tell you right now, whatever the price is, you're gonna feel like you could have bought anything else aside from this. Go buy yourself a nice pair of socks. Socks are good, they keep your feet warm, they keep them dry, it's nice. This. Let me sum it up like this. If you have about three hours of your time that you want to throw away, get this and try to put multiple builds in it. If I was to rate this RTA on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it a one. That's it. I don't even want to give it a one. I want to give it a zero, but you can get this to work. Just be prepared for you to really put as much as work as possible in. The way that I'm looking at it as a reviewer, how let down I am with this RTA, that a reviewer would create this, 
This is the worst reviewer product I've ever done. It's also one of, if not the worst RTA that I've ever done a review on. It's almost disgraceful for me as a reviewer to do a review on this and to even slightly like it. There's so many things about it that fail. It just bothers me that this is something that's on the market that's gonna be sold to people. Like you know how I feel about consumers wasting money. This is literally a waste of money and doing a review on this is almost disheartening for me. It literally is. It's like a race car driver driving every day of his life. Super fast, super quick. His car at home has no wheels. It's like the lead guitarist in a band. One day he shows up for practice to like, you know what, you're on the cowbell. Here, take the tambourine or the maracas. You know damn well that's not a position in any kind of band that can be taken serious. Just like you know that this isn't an RTA that can be taken for serious in the vape game. This goes out to all the people out there that thought I was going to break this because they thought that I had hatred for him. It has nothing to do with the hatred. It doesn't. I'm here to tell you that right now with the most serious and sincere face I could possibly give you. There's no hatred. I know it sucks for him to hear that, especially if you did design it. But why the knurling? What's the purpose of the knurling? Bubbles? With what, the bubble glass? Why would it be released with a small glass if it doesn't fit and it shorts out? These are all questions that they'll probably go unanswered. And you may respond, you know, you may write a comment. Let's go above and beyond, hazers. This is tall of you. I know you're gonna want to respond or go to videos and be an asshole. And as much as I would love that and it puts a smile on my face, Let's prove them wrong. Let's not do it. Let's let this one die out with this RTA. If he ever makes another product ever again, of course I'll review it. I'm biased, but I'm gonna ask Hazers to not, not defend my comment in any way, shape or form. You've done enough where you're at. I think you know how I feel with this whole ordeal. I mean, you could, in a comment here or there, but just don't go to people's videos, trying to call out things that I've had a horrible experience with. There's no need. We've already won, and I've kept it real. Can you say the same, Postman? Jay, it's out.